Hey, what's going on? JD here. And in today's video, we are going to show you how to create adjustment layers and how to utilize them in Final Cut Pro. Now, some of you may be familiar with adjustment layers from programs like Photoshop, and what we are doing is basically creating something like that for Final Cut Pro. We're gonna utilize Motion 5 for that, but don't worry if you don't have it, I will have a link below where you can grab the files to add this adjustment layer directly to your Final Cut Pro. So it isn't necessary, but we're gonna jump first into Motion 5, show you how to create the layer, and then we're going to go into Final Cut Pro and show how to utilize those in your videos. All right, so to create the adjustment layer, we're going to create a new final cut title. We're gonna open that up and we're going to go over to the side here and we are going to delete the text. We don't need that whatsoever. And then all we're going to do now is save the project. As I mentioned before, if you don't have Motion 5, we are going to give that away. The link will be down below in the video and you can visit my website uh, and get all the downloadable files. So we're gonna go adjustment layer, we're going to publish that, and now we are gonna close up motion and jump into Final Cut Pro. So as you can see, I have a project open already. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to our titles here and we're just gonna type an adjustment layer and there it is. We're gonna drag and drop that onto the timeline. So anything that appears below the adjustment layer will have the effect that we put in there on it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here and we're gonna actually make this a LUT. Uh, so we're gonna go to M LUTs, we're gonna pull out our favorite LUT. We wanna make it look like Clerks because I'm a huge Kevin Smith fan. Go for the old black and white. And as you can see, as soon as it hits that adjustment layer, everything below it will be altered. So if you have stacked video, it will also affect the layers below. And the nice thing is, is you can drag it as you see and it has an effect almost immediately on everything. So you can apply this change to multiple clips without applying it directly to the clip. So if you apply it to multiple clips, it makes it easier to change later on. Or again, if you have stacked video, it makes it very, very easy to apply it to all the clips below. So we're gonna go and press Control and click, and we're gonna change the adjustment layer and name. We are simply gonna change that to LUT so we know what it is if we want to change it later or expand it or do whatever. And we're gonna add another adjustment layer. So you can add multiple, just like Photoshop, but multiple adjustment layers. In this case, we are going to drop down and we're going to, uh, we're gonna stylize it. We're gonna add some vignetting to it. So we're just gonna drop that in. And again, it applies to everything below. We're gonna add a little bit more of a blur amount and we can change that. And the nice thing is, is that you can adjust this on the fly as well. So if we take our clip here, we can rename it again. So by pressing control and clicking the layer, it will bring up the menu so we can, of course, change the name, which we are going to change to vignette. So that will be applied across the board. So now if we uh, select or move the clip, you can see that the changes apply only where that adjustment layer is. So it's easy to expand, contract, and you can see how you can play with that. So you can experiment with doing multiple layers and it is that simple. So there you have it. That's how to create adjustment layers and utilize them in Final Cut Pro. It can be an easier way to edit your video and add effects that you might not be sure about or to apply them across many clips throughout your video that need the same effect. Hopefully you found this tutorial useful. Please leave a comment down below if you have and please leave me some suggestions what videos you would like to see in the future. Don't forget to hit like as well as subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching and until next time see ya